Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how to make top ramen, but this time we're gonna add some more vegetables in there, get it a little bit, just a little bit more tastier, you guys. Simple and fast. Let's get started. So you wanna start with one celery stick. You want some onions, some spinach, and some green onions and if you have carrots feel free to throw that in as well i don't so just moving on you just want to go ahead and cut the onions into slices i'm just going to use one slice for this recipe and it's going to cut up the green onions after that i'm going to slice up the celery just to get them into smaller um, pieces so that it's easier to work with As you can see, y'all, I love a lot of celery. It's good for you. <laughs> All right, so as we're doing that, you wanna get some water boiling. Once the water begins to boil, go ahead and throw some cloves of garlic in there. I like to throw about two or three in there and let it boil with the water. Once that starts boiling, you want to add some the green onions. Following that, you want to go ahead and throw in the celery pieces. And next, you're going to throw in the onions. And I like to pick the onion apart so that they're not all clumped together. But of course, you can do what you want. Uh, boil for about five minutes. Once it's been boiling for five minutes, you want to go ahead and throw in the noodles. As you can see, I like to break mines apart um, just so that it, the noodles are not as long. Once you do that, I just stir around and make sure that they're not clumped together and separate the noodles. And just let it cook. Let all the flavors come together and create this new masterpiece for you. Once that gets into a boil, I like to add... I enjoy this recipe because it's this adds more vegetables more nutrients to your soup and it makes it a lot tastier of course I gotta taste it and it tastes wonderful Alright you guys, I think it's ready. Let's go ahead and put some in a plate. Kind of hungry right now. Last but not least, let's go ahead and throw those spinaches in there. Um, I like to throw them in there raw just because it's it doesn't take much for the spinach to cook. And if you want to, you know, ingest the nutrients that's in the vegetables, you don't want to overcook them. So I 
put the spinach in there raw, um, but you can throw it in there while it's boiling if you want to. But I prefer it that way. And this is it, you guys. This was a simple recipe just to add a little bit more um, nutrients to your top ramen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment. What do you guys want to see me make next? That's healthy. That's going to help improve your wellness. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.